Here's the future bit Moonlander 2 in the powered USB hub. I've removed the LCD screen, etc. It's only powering uh, the future bit Moonlander and a Raspberry Pi Zero that I've completely stripped everything down from. So all we have is exactly the power coming out of it. So before it starts mining in its current state, we have it plugged in over here and it is using 2.5 watts, which is rather nice. So, uh, like I said, I've only changed the clock speed setting. I haven't modified any of the voltages or anything on this Moonlander. Um, that is frowned upon from FutureBit, but you can change the clock speeds. They've said they've pre-configured a few different ones that they've tested and they know that work. Uh, you can find those on the FutureBit support forums if you want to see that. So let's go ahead and get this guy going. Go ahead and start mining. Like I said, mine is configured to run at 720 for the clock speed. And that is doing about three, about four, four mega hash, which I think is safe so I don't overheat it or anything. And while that's running, we'll go back over here. We'll see it. See the lights are blinking on it now. It's having a good time. And we'll see what's changed on its wattage use. wrong angle here. I believe it says 11.5 watts. Somewhere between 10 and 11.5 watts. Yeah, 11.5. Sorry about that. As you can see, this isn't a kilowatt. This is a Florion. Yeah. So 11.5 watts just to leave that guy running. And that's overclocked a little bit. If you put it down to the default 600 speed, it uh, looks like it went up to 12, I'm somewhere around there. If you leave it at the default 600 speed, I think it uses a little under 10 watts, so that's cool. So there you go, so that's one. Future Bit Moonlander 2, configured with a Raspberry Pi.